Hi everybody, welcome to my simple tutorial on how to uh, multiplayer replicate animations. Uh, in my simple tutorial, I will be switching uh, from an idle state to a thinking state. So basically the character, like you see here, these are my characters. So my character is basically idling and after a few seconds of idling, I want him to start thinking. That's my example, but you can basically do anything you want. So how this works is that you need to open up your character animation blueprint and your character blueprint. So first we will start off in the character blueprint and I'll show you a short example, which is um, if we click C on the keyboard, so just use C on the keyboard, you can make any key you want. Then we want to set a variable whether or not our character is thinking. So to do this, we basically make a variable and I call it is thinking question mark. And then we need a, a flip-flop is what I use. So a flip-flop is basically if I click this, we do A. If I click it again, we do B and it cycles between these. So what I want to happen is an event, a custom event. So we do add custom event and we write server basically. And then we say start thinking. Then we need another custom event. So do it again, custom event and say server stop thinking. Then both of these events, since we only trigger this once, we need to make sure these are reliable. So we set them to run on the server and to reliable. This one as well, run on server, reliable. Now what I want to happen uh, is basically that when we press A, we server start thinking. And when B happens, we do server stop thinking. And then what happens on the server is that we need to set this variable to true when we start thinking. So is thinking set it to true. And when we stop thinking, we set it, oh, don't get it, but set it, hold alt, drag it in. We set it to false. And now we need to make sure that we set this variable to replicate it. That's important. So basically what that means is if we set it to replicate it, um, the server can only replicate from the server to the client. So the server will keep this variable up to date on all clients basically and overwrite their local version of this variable to this variable. Uh, we can now do a simple print string to test this out. We can say is thinking. And we can say, stop thinking. Okay, let's test this out. I'll just do one player as a standalone, doesn't matter. So if you press C, we see is thinking, stop thinking, is thinking, stop thinking. Okay. Now the next thing that we need to do is that based off of this variable, we need to do a uh, trigger an animation. So to do that, we go over to our animation blueprint and we need to cast to our base dummy. So to your character blueprint. So over here off of the off valid, just drag cast to and then type in your character uh, blueprint. So for me, that is dummy base dummy. Then for the object, you can use the try to get pawn owner and then off of here, we can drag the variable that we are using, which is is thinking. So off of here, we can drag and we can say get is thinking. And then we need to set a local version of this variable in this animation blueprint. So to do that, you right click and you click on promote the variable and is thinking is fine. And then basically we cast and we set is thinking and then we go on. A nice way to do that is to hold S and make a sequence. So basically this way you can make multiple of these events basically. So off of sequence one, we execute these pins off of sequence two, execute this. And let's just call this multiplayer animation thinking. All right. Okay. Let's compile and save. And now we can use this variable inside of our state machine to determine whether or not we are thinking. So to do this, you head over your, to your animation graph, you go to your state machine, mine is called default. We drag off of here and we add a state. I call this state thinking since that's what it is. We need a back and forward transition rule. So drag off of thinking back into the idle. And then basically onto thinking, you can drag your thinking animation. For me, it's important that I set this animation to not loop because I just want this to execute once. And then if we go back to the default, 
we can do the transition rule. So drag in your variable, your Boolean variable. If we are thinking, we transition to the thinking state and simply off on this backwards rule, drag in, hold control, drag in your variable and say not, which means if you're not thinking, we transition back to our idle state. That's the logic that we are using here. So then we transition back to our idle state. Um, now we can uh, actually go ahead and test this out. So let's give it one more final check. If we press C, we start, we set this variable on the server to be true. And if we press C again, we set this server, this variable on the server to be false. And then our animation blueprint, every tick, that is what update animation does. It sets the variable here locally, and it uses this variable inside the state machine to determine whether or not we are thinking. So let's go and click on this arrow here, type in two players and go to listen and server. Now, if we hit play, we get a server window on the right. I like to drag my client window to the left. Then I get both players aligned next to each other. And if we press C on the server, both the server and the client see it, I can toggle between it. And if we press C on the server, both the, or on the client, I mean, both the client and the server see it. So that works fine. But now what I want is that uh, basically the player is not allowed for me. So you can use this with any animation, just so you know. But for me, I don't want the player to toggle whether or not he's thinking. I want this to happen automatically. So I will write a little script and I will do it like this. Event tick. Event tick. So every tick, we're being basically going to check whether or not the character is standing still, so idling. And it, when the character is standing still, I want to randomly, within a certain interval, trigger that we are thinking or like looking around in the world, right? So um, to do that, we get event tick. I then get my velocity. So simply type get velocity of the actor, while the actor obviously is the character itself. We say we drag off here and we do equals not exactly, but just equal factor. So if our velocity, uh, this is the logic here, let me explain. If our velocity equals zero, then we get a true and we get a false. So what we do is if our velocity is zero, so you're standing still, then I run a little delay and the delay will have a random uh, time interval. So I will say random int in range and here I can define that I want uh, this random interval between 5 to 15 seconds to trigger a certain event when this is completed. So if we're standing still, for instance, this will output uh, 7 seconds. Then we wait 7 seconds or whatever it is randomly generated, and then we trigger thinking. So to do that, we basically need our start thinking event, and we say start thinking. So let's test this out. We click on play, open these up, let's stand next to each other. Okay. Ah, look, so the server is already starting to think and now the client is starting to think. Then I run around and you see that it doesn't stop thinking. That's because we don't check what happens when we stop running. So basically if the velocity is not zero anymore, we also need to set on the server that we are not thinking obviously. So let's drag these events over here. And in this example, we can forget about this trigger here. So we could put this a little bit to the left. So the logic here is if we are standing still, we get a random delay, then we start to think. If we are not standing still, then we tell the server that we are not standing still. And then obviously we instantly switch to not standing still. Now, if we keep standing still and we want to toggle between thinking, not thinking, thinking, not thinking, we can simply copy paste this again. And for instance, we can say here, stop thinking just like this. So we start thinking then after an interval between six to 15 seconds, we stop thinking and we can then run that again. So we could run this check here again, drag this down a little bit, double click to reroute it. Oh, double click to reroute it just like this. <laughs> That's good enough. And let's give this logic a try. So we hit play, drag my client here. Oh, <laughs> they spawn on top of each other uh, like this. Okay, let's see who starts to think first. 
it's a random interval. <laughs> okay, so now the server starts to think, oh, and there goes the client, client starts thinking. And then after a certain time, they will stop thinking, look, client stops thinking and start thinking <laughs> and then the server stops thinking. And that's how you set up a basic uh, idle script. And let's wait for one of them to start thinking. If I start running, it now automatically switches out of the start thinking. And this guy is still thinking. And you could make this any animation like looking around or whatever you feel like doing. Maybe the character is going to sit down after like 30 seconds. Uh, whatever you feel like doing, you can basically make like this. Look, he starts to think again. And I'm not even pressing C. And now I can still press C because we still have that logic. So if I want to manually toggle or if I want to, for instance, in the chat, say slash think. Oh. Let's type it correctly, say slash think. I want to trigger thinking instead of by pressing C, right? Then we can do that too. So yeah, that's my little tutorial about how to make animations replicated. And it works great when you're thinking and you start running it automatically goes out, etc. Take a final look at my logic, guys. I'll drag this in here. So basically start thinking, etc. Here, just pause the video. Copy this. Make sure you set your variable to replicate it. And make sure you do this correctly. And make sure you do these three little steps correctly. Okay, hope that was helpful. Goodbye, guys.